estimated date is yeah the close date is so it's gonna be california contemporary yeah we have oh. to get a fridge we have to get a washer dryer it's gonna be, there's a lot of yeah. i've never chosen anything for any home <laughs> hey guys welcome back so today i have eric here with me today because we are going to be doing a q a all about our house that is currently being built we're going to be getting it into all of the juicy questions you guys have and like when our move-in date is, which is coming up really soon, you guys. So that is gonna be a little bit later on. But before we get into any of that, I'm gonna throw in Easter day footage, like the day before Easter, Easter. I know it's a little ways ago, <laughs> but it was such cute vibe and you get to see a lot more of the kids. So let's go ahead and roll that right now. So yesterday I spent my entire day spring cleaning. So like this morning was a very slow morning for me because I wasn't even sure. I, I honestly thought I had plans to just like spend the rest of the day on the couch and just recover from that because yesterday was just so exhausting. I filmed my part one of my spring cleaning. If you haven't watched it, it'll be right here. So today is the day before Easter and I knew I needed to get up because I haven't went like Easter Easter grocery shopping. I just need to pick up um, some stuff that we want to make for tomorrow. We also want to get more eggs and also more dye because I already bought some, but the kids already dyed eggs like two weeks ago. Yeah, but here's how the couch is looking. It's looking a little rough. I still have all like the cushions in the dryer. I haven't had any motivation to do that. Honestly, Eric will probably do that because I'm just like, nah. Yeah, but Ember is taking her nap right now and Eric is editing that video. He's going to be doing that pretty much all day because I really want to get it up tomorrow. So, you know, since I did the cleaning, he's going to be doing the editing for that one, which is really cool. So my plan is to go pick up a Target order. It literally just has like groceries, like laundry detergent, like little stuff that we need. And then um, Trader Joe's. So tomorrow we want to make chicken tacos and also pasola. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing that with all three of the older kids and maybe just take them to the park because they really didn't do anything too exciting today because like I said I was right there on that side of the couch taking like two naps so <laughs> I'm trying to decide whether I want to wear these converse or these sandals this is the vibes today though it's just like black white and yeah it's just very comfy but I just wanted to add a little pop of color with this bag but I just can't decide should I go with the sandals or the converse I'm kind of leaning more towards the converse just because I want to be comfortable. Let's see. I'm going to try the sandals on first though because they're new and I was really excited to find them. I've been looking for a pair of platforms like these. So now I'm kind of leaning towards the Converse because I feel like I'll give it like a nice little pop. Oh, no, let's go inside the floor. I don't want to pick the top. I felt like bad leaving her because she wants to go to the park too. We made it to the park. You ready, Cece? Oh, we made it to the park. park. Very windy, so okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Ready, ready. Hi guys. This is Ezra. It's so windy outside, and we're going on the swings, and we're going to go on that little, it's, a, it's kind of like a little Christmas tree and it's um, it's like a thing that you spin on and then you could go on the top of it and swing. Somebody has to swing it for you though. I like those. But, and then that's it. But of course, there's always one kid that has to go to the bathroom at the wrong time, so... We ended up going to a Starbucks right across the street, and he made it, so yay. That was rough. Look who I forget to bring shoes for. I thought they were in the car, <laughs> but I guess they weren't. But hey, it's like black top, so it shouldn't be that bad. She's just walking around with her little socks. <laughs> Alright, got the goods. My milks fell out from Target. Dang, how many milks did Eric order? It's a lot. 
lactose free were exposed. The food inside looks so good, but I just was not about to get a bunch of anxiety with my four kids. Happy Easter! <laughs> okay, Ethan, this one's yours though. You get the boy one. I just didn't want to take it out because this Easter bath is so big. Do you like this? Oh yeah, I do. It's like little poppets. Emma, did you see the poppets? Like did you see that? Oh my god! I ended up getting her this pack because I love how diverse Mommy. it is. We got like one her skin tone, and then we have a guy, and then we have a girl that's a little bit plus size, so. Ethan's all into his dog man book. He's like chilling on the couch with his yeah. feet up, and he's just so excited about his new book, which is so cute because my baby's such a nerd. He loves books, babe. Yeah. He's so proud. Yeah. Emma's like all Barbie. I didn't even get her a book. I didn't even bother. For Daddy. I hate books. <laughs> Alright guys, look who woke up! What you got there? Oh, what is that? It's a unicorn! <gasps> Stuffy! You got a bunny! Is it so comfy? Yeah! Look so baby, cookie! Cookie! Put in your basket. No! Emma, no! Emma. No! Go, Ezra, go. ended up winning the Easter egg hunt. Emma kind of sprinted off and Ethan was like smart about it. He gathered all the eggs near him and he ended up winning. So yeah, after that, I tried to line up the kids to get a cute little Easter day photo, but the weather sucks. So if you guys had good weather, you're lucky. All right guys, so now it's time to get into all of the house stuff. So Ooh. first, when do we move? And can you do a video on everything? I love you, love you too. So this is actually like something I already wanted to like share with you guys because we're just so excited. Estimated date is- Yeah, the close date is May 12th. Yes, yeah, so May 12th, you guys, but a week we have to go before. We got to mm -hmm. take a walk through of the house. We're going to be signing all the paperwork like a week before May 12th. And we're going to be yeah, just signing paperwork, looking through the house to see if there's anything that they could fix. And then once May 14th? 12th. Oh. That, that day could change, though. Like, it could be delayed. Like, we don't know. But um, the weather has been pretty good, mm -hmm. so I'm thinking it won't. And they're, all, they're literally almost they're done with everything, you guys. It's insane. One thing that they have to do, though, and they have to hurry up, is the outside of the house, mm -hmm. which is, like, the front. And it is kind of a lot of work. So I'm hoping it doesn't get changed, but it could always end up changing. So we get our keys May 12th. Um, which is really exciting like there's just so much like emotion like because this has been something Oh, I'll get into that like the day I filmed the video I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. probably cry on the floor yeah. or whatever and oh and then of course I'm gonna be filming I'm gonna be filming like moving videos like a full packing. on empty house store packing moving in I'm gonna be vlogging too. So I'm gonna throw up photos of how the house is looking so far It is crazy what they have done so far and it's looking so good Oh, and then also, just because we do get the keys May 12th, hopefully, mm -hmm. if they don't push it back, um, we're probably not going to move until, like, the end of May. Yeah, for sure. Because the kids um, don't stop going to school. Like, their end of school date is, like, May 20-something, like, late May. And I just don't want them to miss that. I'm just so happy that they're finally not going to have to move ever again. Because for real, like, you, like for real, you guys... Um, we don't plan on moving for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Like this is gonna be, this is it, you know? Um, 
maybe like I don't want to say like forever forever but like for sure at least until the kids are out of high school. Since we are moving towards the end of May uh, doesn't mean that you guys are gonna have to wait to see the house before that we're for sure gonna pro it's like gonna be like within a couple weeks you guys are gonna be seeing a full-on house tour. We still have actually it may be like maybe like I don't know because like there's some there's just some issues a little bit with uh, the kitchen that I'm not really loving just some things that I kind of was just like man I should have had this and those are things that I do want to like just right away do it right away fix it yeah just, and once we signed everything that there was no changing so we were stuck with what we had exactly so that is kind of like the con of like building a home like once you say yes like you can't like you can't go back or not even for the smallest details was, which is yeah, so so makes dumb i'm pretty sure other places might be able to be more accommodating to your designs and stuff so definitely shop around but i do love the home builders that we're building with it just sucks that I don't know, they seem kind of like bougie too, but it's just like, it doesn't feel like that at the same time. Yeah, because the builder here that we were about to go with, um, so much stuff came standard, like really nice stuff. Yes, like Everything the there hardwood was, floor yeah. was like nice, like light hardwood floor. You had to have an open concept, but like mm -hmm. with the home build right now, they had an option of just not having it open. It's crazy because the just prices have gone up so much. I know. It's so like it's hard to stay in your budget but also get what you want so this question says do you and Eric ever have or had any differences choosing stuff for your new home so I've never chosen anything for any home <laughs> which I don't really I don't care about he doesn't but <laughs> it's just he, um, I told him like he we have a tandem right so it's like a two-car garage plus like a long thing and a basement so, so all of that is mine yeah that's all gonna be his he gets to decide on whatever I have my little office and our bedroom that he'll have little stays in, but like for the living room kitchen, I think he's just gonna be a yes man and just kind of agree with me to oh. be honest. <laughs> but he doesn't mind. Well, I don't think you mind. I don't. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like this question. Do you have a theme on how you want your house to look? So it's so crazy, like, um, because I had a completely different idea of how I wanted my house to look like. Um, just six seven months ago and I already like have a whole new style that I'm going for so it's gonna be California contemporary I love I love like the neutrals and soft earthy tone colors for like home decor but also um, yeah what was I gonna, what was I gonna say after that? And with the kids' rooms, I'm so excited because I get to actually get to paint, put wallpaper up if I want to, and it's just going to be so fun. So do we invest? Good question. We actually tried at the worst time. We had yeah. crypto. We lost like $1,000, and that was such a dud. Like, it was such a dud. So currently, no, we don't invest. <laughs> so are we going to have some colors in the new house? Everything is so neutral now. Good question. Like I, I'm already kind of getting irritated at the house of how it looks so white, and I'm like, oh, like I just didn't know what type of color I wanted. I really like this this house of how it's like. I don't know what color it is. It's just like almost white, like cream. So um, it, it's obviously gonna look like super white when we um, like move in because literally the walls are white. But um, that's the cool thing. Like you know, eventually we'll go ahead and paint if we need. To paint wallpaper it up of course like furniture that the core is gonna make yeah, it pop gonna... you for sure follow me on instagram you're probably seeing like the everything just looking white but it's all like white dust like all on our like yeah. really warm floor. the floors are all covered and covered in dust on top of the covering so the floors are actually really warm and really nice yeah and that's what i really wanted to Lightly. have that nice warmness to the house because i know everything does seem a lot white right now but no like for like the girls room i want wallpaper some bathrooms maybe wallpaper painting it like black or dark blue or i don't even know like it's gonna be a vibe yeah of course i set my table like my dining room table i love it we just mm -hmm. recently bought it not that long ago that's definitely coming with us i'm gonna get new bar stools we're not bringing that entertainment center because we have like a fireplace now i'm gonna hang the tv mm -hmm. up um, the couch is eventually going to be updated, but not so soon just because, you know, big purchase. Yeah, we have um, to get a fridge. We have to get a washer dryer. There's going to be... There's a lot of yeah. ever, like little unfortunate like big purchases that we have to make. I mean, we're going to do it in moderation. Obviously, nothing's going to like take... It's not going to be ready in a month. It's probably not going to be ready in a year, but it's that's we have our 
lot of times. Mm -hmm. Like, it's actually so hard for me. <laughs> okay. This one's kind of off topic, you guys. Has anyone confused me with Dulce Maria? So on TikTok, apparently, I'm her doppelganger. I swear, anytime like a video, like any of my TikToks do well, I get at least like five, four people or tons of people just saying like, you look like Dulce Maria. I thought this was Dulce Maria. That girl Dulce from Maria. RPD. That girl. <laughs> I'm like, I guess. I take her a compliment. She's very pretty and she's very cute. So, so a little bit off topic now. So how is everything between me and Eric? Um, a lot of you guys ask because um, like I, I was open about like us being like very like, almost. It was just a very rough, a rough, rough patch in our marriage. And I now I'm, I was actually thinking about this because I seen this comment before we were filming, and I can't even remember why. Do you remember why? Oh, I do now. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. If you're gonna say it. no, no, no. You don't I remember don't, why? No. Um, Maybe actually just remembered right now but i remember that a huge thing was is that i just felt like you weren't helping like a lot and um it was like you wouldn't do things like i would say more about like i think business i think yeah it was probably it was like really yeah, bad like it, not really house things but no it wasn't house things no it was never it was yeah. never it's never it's never about like little things around the house it's more of like keeping up with like my business and stuff like you know, I rely on him a lot, and maybe I should have um, gotten a manager. I've always talked about it, but he's my man, and he's my juror. I'm <laughs> just, just joking. It was me just letting it happen, too. So I don't even blame you. I, I blame me for letting it happen, you know? And then maybe me blowing up on you for just keeping it bottled in. So it's nothing like it used to before. I'm so happy in our marriage. Like, it's just so nice because I really... It was just such a bad, like, patch in our marriage and it's just things get better you guys and we're better at communicating with each other and <laughs> what is that i think that's ezra you said dark time which is yeah that's true and then it really it's just dark. so much different now and i and the kids are upstairs playing um <laughs> he um stepped it up so much not even just like obviously like little things like that like i just um was talking about but like just like emotionally you know because i felt like he was lacking um with that too like a while ago and not to even just point fingers at you but this was just how i was feeling you know genuinely like he gives me butterflies now like i want to cuddle with him more often like Since i'm just more even just like sexually attracted to him if i'm being honest like because he's just being like a different person and it's making me like him more you know like even physically <laughs> <laughs> because um yeah <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that look. <laughs> I'm turning red. Isn't it so crazy? Like I love, I love getting older. Like I'm so happy in my like my little self anymore. You know, like I was such a different person. And it's so funny because I have been documenting my life since uh -huh. I was like a little person, and I feel so much more confident. You know, and I know some of you guys. I know hey, some, I, <laughs> yeah. I guess just some people just like are surprised by it, but I'm just so happy. Like, why would you want someone to feel? Like, because I would even get roasted for being insecure. Like, I would not talk the best, right? People would be like, I hate the way she talks. Like, she talks so ugly. Make fun of my teeth, yeah. my weight. People just made fun of me, you know? And it's like, now that I'm finally, like, feeling confident and secure in myself, like, wh why would you hate on somebody like that? If anything, I... I would be proud. Like, I'm proud of myself. I don't even know when to be proud of me, but I know a lot of you guys support me and I'm always seeing amazing comments saying that you guys actually have noticed too and you love who I am now. And I, like, <laughs> literally, I'm emotional, but like, that means so much, man. Like, <laughs> like to support that because um, just, you know, I, I had a struggle like with a lot. Like, I've bunch of stuff wrong with me like anxiety depression which is still kind of like current to this day but like um like even body issues and stuff like that um just not being confident you know like I feel like I held myself back and now I feel like I'm just happy and I could just be myself you know and it's okay not everyone's gonna like me you know like no one will ever like you <laughs> not not everyone will like you you, you exactly. can be like, we won't please everyone. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and for sticking around. We're so excited. Um, we're going to be keeping you guys in the loop. 
if not here definitely follow me on my instagram again you guys like i'll be updating you guys a lot more i'm excited to go and visit the house in just like what is so the day soon. literally in like a if they week get it and done a half. before closing it's a week before closing so it's if it's on time like the 12th then we're gonna be seven days before that soon, yeah. you guys so definitely stay tuned we'll talk to you guys soon and peace <laughs>